All right, what's up guys? Mad Dog EDC here. I know I said that I probably wanted to get some of these videos out because of things that are going on right now with family events and such. In about an hour or so, we'll have people uh, guests arriving, but I've got all my work done. So I'm just sitting here waiting on some chili to finish up on the smoker. And uh, so I thought I'd tell you a little bit about these Milwaukee earbuds. One cool thing that I've noticed about these, and the sound may, it may sound a little funny because I do have them paired right now, is it says Milwaukee across them. This is M-I-L-W and then this is the rest of it right here. So, but uh, the left and right buds, you can see they've, I've got the foam tips in them, but it's nice and easy to just swap the tips out. The foam tips, you just squish like so and then they expand back out to their normal size. I've been mowing today, so these things are pretty nasty. Got to clean them up. And then you got different ear cups that it comes with as well, or not ear cups, but different bands that you can change out uh, to fit your earlobe. So they fit in and stay in a lot better. So I'm gonna be shooting here in just a little bit, so I'm excited to find out how the uh, job site awareness actually works with them. But, uh, put that in there like that and there we go you can see it uh, sits in there it's got that nice little curve in there to hold it now I love the case the case is bulky it's it's big um I wear an extra large hand oh, I might even have my tape measure on me where I could show you the measurements to this I love the um the red lithium battery I uh, the uh what is it the 3.0 red lithium battery I love how that is. Uh, I can swap the batteries out. I'm planning on getting one of the lights to uh, that uses those that uses the same battery. That way we can, if I can turn this around here where you can see it, we got about three and three quarter, and then about three and a half, three and three quarter by about three and a half. It's not quite square, but. This is what I'm talking about, being able to swap those batteries out. This is the Red Lithium USB 3.0. Um, it's got this groove down the side right here. You got a groove right there. Fits in and then snaps into place. You got a red dot there. And then your lock on this side. You got a red dot on the cap. Just gonna line them up. And then it's just a simple twist lock in right there. This is all your warning and safety information there. Snaps in. Now, I love the fact that this is printed here, so you don't have to constantly be searching for the uh, instructions as to how this works. Um, the, le the right side controls your phone calls and then your music. The left side controls your job site awareness. That brings us to the next point there. One click turns your job site awareness on. Um, it amplifies everything, and uh, I forgot to get the specs as to what it's it's going to amplify, and then the noise canceling will take over after that point. But uh, it does really well. Um, if I talk really loud, it, see it doing that right there, it just cut it right out. Um, so I'm excited to have this on and see how it works with shooting later on. But um, one tap will turn your job site awareness on. A double tap will change the level. There's a low, a medium, and a high setting. I found that when I'm listening to my book, listening to music, whatever, the high setting actually works a little better because it gives me more distance as a person is walking up to me, whereas the low or the medium setting, I found that it wouldn't really pick up on them until they were closer to me, and that didn't give me enough time to be able to stop and hear what they're saying. Now, I don't have to take these out in order to listen to what they're saying because it's amplifying it. Um, right now I'm driving a 1996 F-150 5.0 and while it's a pretty nice truck, it is kind of loud on the inside. I put my book on, on speakerphone, sitting in my ProClip USA holder, which is over on the dash to the right of the steering wheel, about right above the where the radio sits. And normally with the road noise, you'd struggle to hear it. But I turned these on with the job site awareness and I turned it on high and I could actually hear my book inside the cab and it muted some of the truck noise. So it does work pretty well. As far as qual quality goes, 
call quality goes. I've talked to several people, older individuals and then some younger individuals, um, customers, friends, a wide array, uh, right, wide array of people, excuse me, I can get my words out today, a wide array of people in different situations. I've talked to people in buildings, I've talked in a house, I've talked in a truck, I've talked in a bunch of wind, and they've all said that even in those situations, everyone has been able to hear me great. The call quality is clear. The music, I've had better music phones, uh, headphones. Um, these aren't really, they're not, they don't have that good a pace. They can sound kind of tinny. As a matter of fact, with the uh, job site awareness on right now, it is very tinny. Um, the microphone is just, it's tinny. That's about the only way to describe it. So don't get these if you're looking for music quality because it's just not going to be there. I don't listen to enough music while I'm out on the job site. Most of the time what I'm listening to is books or podcasts or something like that. And it works just fine for those. And the occasional time I'm li I've listened to music with them, it hasn't been bad enough to worry about. But it wasn't as good as some of my other ones that I've had. Um, so all in all, I, I really think these do compare to some of the more expensive ones I've had, $179.99 for, uh, for the set. I've had uh, the Shox OpenCom, which run the same price. Now, the Shox OpenCom, of course, that's your bone conduction. It sits in front of your ear, works off of your um, bone right there, and then it conducts in. Uh, they were amazing. They sound really good. The music is great with them. The microphone was amazing. Crystal clear call quality. I could talk on the mower and have a normal conversation with somebody, no problem. You know, put just like a set of foam earbuds in, have the, have the bone conduction there. They could hear me, I could hear them. No shouting, just a normal conversation like I'm having right now. It, it worked great. You can't do that with these. <laughs> I fired up the, uh, the diesel uh, zero turn, turned the blades on, had um, Mrs. Mad Dog Katie on the phone, and uh, it was gone. She couldn't hear me. So, not going to do that with these. Now, I did mow the yard today. As I said, they're kind of nasty and dirty because I was doing that. And I could hear my book just fine. I didn't have my phone turned up all the way. So, they do really well for that. But you're not going to talk on the phone in a high, in a loud environment and have a normal conversation. So while the mower is running, you can talk, but not while the blades are turning and while you're uh, going at full speed. So I'd say that in most environments, you're probably gonna be okay, but those super loud ones is just not gonna work out that well. So that's a very quick overview with the uh, Milwaukee job site earbuds, USB Bluetooth earbuds. Um, I've been enjoying them. I think they're really good. I think so far they're worth the buy. They're dust uh, resistant. They're water resistant. Um, oh, you have a uh, USB port on this side that you charge this with. Uh, USB-C, plug it in there, charges up the battery, also charges up your earbuds. They fit in there nice. You got three different lights on them. It'll start out red if they're, if they're completely dead, and then they'll go up to orange, and then they'll end up at green when they're full charged. So when you pull them out, after you've had them um, sync to your phone once, you pull them out, it's almost an instant connection. It works well with the right earbud, it works well with the left earbud. I haven't um, experimented with the left earbud yet to see whether or not, if I don't have the right one on, if I can still control everything with the left. If all those controls swap over, I don't know, I haven't tested that out yet. We'll see. But um, so far, I'm I'm really happy with them. I really don't have any issues with them. Um, the only negative I've seen so far has been the tinny sound with the music and the lack of a noise canceling mic to the point where in a really loud environment is going to work. Um, but not everything is going to do that. I don't think you're going to be able to get that quality out of some of the higher ones. I think some of the AirPods do it. I'm not sure about the Samsung uh, Galaxy Buds. I know the um, OpenCom uh, from Shox works really well, but that boom mic just kept getting beat up and it, it doesn't hold up to water well. So with an irrigation guy, that's not so great. But um, at any rate, that's uh, my quick overview of the Milwaukee job site earbuds. Pick them up. Try them. You can get, pick them up at Home Depot, 
um, Red Tool, Acme Tools. I think you can get them from Northern Tool. I think they have them in stock. So uh, try it and see. Let me know in the comments what you think about them. Mad Dog out.